So what we're going to demonstrate today is the app and the RF sensor. We were not able to get a radar here for this test. Our approach was to develop a software-defined radar and specialized software to see the targets, identify the targets, and track the targets. With a typical facility with the RF boxes installed, you'll see target tracking coming in. It can be any symbol you want, but the way it's set up right now, it's just a drone symbol. And it, it, every time it updates, it shows the movement, and you can show the target trail of the path that it's been going. So our engineers developed a app for a smartphone. But it basically will turn an Android phone into a short-range drone detector. And the idea behind the smartphone is that it creates a crowdsource network too, so we can have multiple users at a facility using the phones. We can also geofence the area and show you only alerts within that area. You get an on-screen alert, both audible and visual, and then the system can also send out text messages or email messages to individual assigned addresses. Uh, of specific alerts. He's actually flying the Phantom or the uh, Bebop Parrot towards us right now, which is what we're detecting with all these alarms going off everywhere. He's about a quarter mile out. Quarter mile? Yeah. We're getting two detections here. We're getting detection of the control, the control, and the drone. With the RF, we're going to catch it. As soon as they turn that controller on, okay. you're going you're gonna get to get a signal. Okay. That's the advantage of RF. Okay. You know, radar's advantage is it's going to pick up everything, even the ones that aren't RF controlled. 